Kajabi, if you use it, and I guess you do, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. Kajabi, depending on which plan you've got, it limits the number of products that you can have listed. Well, we can actually get around this by creating a password protected page in Kajabi. And I'm going to show you how. Now, here's the thing, and this is what I've found. For your main course, you really don't mind that taking up a slot. That's fine. But quite often, you've got what I call, I call them pop-up offers. Low price products that you're, say you're using to attract people, maybe a $47 ebook, PDF, or a couple of videos you did that would be great as a mini offer. A way to attract people with something at, shall we say, a non-considered price point where you can upsell them later. Great way to build a list. Well, you can sell these types of offers without having to use one of your valuable product slots. There is a way to create a paywall and protect your page with a password within Kajabi. And you know what? It's actually really easy to do. So let's jump over to Kajabi and I'll show you how. So I'm in my Kajabi test account. Now, first thing that we need to do is to create our page where people, our customers can access their download, their video, access whatever your offer is. Now over here on the left under website, we've got pages. I'll open that. Now there are a couple of things we have to keep in mind to do this. First thing is you have to create a page under the website section. That's important. This won't work if you create it under landing or under funnels. It's got to be under the website section. Now this doesn't alter anything really from your customer's perspective. Makes no difference at all. So we'll create our page and this is the page that's going to host the video, the download or whatever your offer is. So I'll select new website page, give it a name, hit customize page. And of course you'd add all your own stuff in here, you, any graphics or buttons they can download or view the content or whatever. And rather than have you sat watching me add elements, I'm going to use the magic of editing. There you go. I've added some basic elements. I've added an image, a little bit of tech and some buttons that link to the download. So now I just want to jump back to the main pages section. So here at the top we've our page, the page that holds the content that they've paid for. Now for this to work and this is like key to the whole thing. If we come over here to these three little dots and then click edit details. Now you see this little toggle switch here, member visibility, that has to be on. So I'll enable that. Scroll down to the bottom, hit save. Now, before we exit out of this page, we're also going to need the URL of the page. Now, of course, if you was doing this for real, you may add something else in here, something a little bit more descriptive or whatever. Anyway, I'm just going to copy that because we're going to need that URL shortly. So that's the page done, the page that the customers are going to see. The next step is to set up the offer so they can actually buy it. Give us some money. Now, before we jump back to Kajabi and set the offer up, if you're getting value from this, Hit the like button. Look upon hitting the like button like leaving a small tip in a restaurant shows you appreciate the effort. And I do appreciate it. In fact, if you hit the subscribe button, I do a little dance. Anyway, back to Kajabi. So here we are, back in Kajabi. Now from the menu on the left, we want sales. Then we want offers. And then what I want to do, I want to create a new offer. So I'll just come over here to the top and click new offer. I'll give it a name. For payment type, I'm going to select one time payment and the price I think we'll put $50 and then click create. There we go. Now, can you see here it said add products to this offer? Well, we're not going to add anything because this is what's known as a ghost offer. But what we do need to do under post purchase down here, we need to alter where we send members once they've made a purchase. Currently, what it would do, it would send them to the members library, but that would be no good. It would be confusing since the product's not going to be in the library because it's a ghost offer. We need to send them to a customer thank you page so they can download or consume what they've bought. So from this drop down list here, I'm going to select custom thank you page. And for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to paste in some text. Now to make this link clickable, so when it appears on the page, all they've got to do is just click the link and it will take them to the page where they can consume the content or download the offer or whatever it is. I'm just going to highlight that, copy it and click this little icon here. And then in the URL, I'm just going to paste that in and then click OK. There we go. That will now be a clickable link on the custom thank you page. Now, once we've done that, we need to scroll down the page a little bit and we also need to deal with the post purchase email. So I'm going to select custom email. 
I'm going to paste in the same message. And what I'm also going to do, because I want to welcome them by name, up here on the email subject, I'm going to type in welcome. And then in the special brackets, I'm going to put member.name. So that's going to address them by the name. So if the name is John, it will say welcome John. If the name is Mary, it will say welcome Mary. It will say welcome whatever their name is. Now just a little something before we actually save this page and move on. You see this here. In some email clients, that wouldn't appear as a clickable link. It would just appear as text. And then what they'd have to do, they'd have to copy it, paste it in the browser. And it just makes it a little bit harder for them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to turn this into a clickable link in email. So I'm just going to add a little bit of HTML. There we go. That will now be a clickable link. Pretty simple. So with all that out of the way, I'm going to scroll up to the top and I'm going to click save. Now, next, what we need to do, we need to edit the actual checkout page. So I'll just come over here to edit checkout, select that. Now, of course, you dress this page up, add text and all that. But what we want to do, we need to make some changes to the actual form field here. Currently, we're only collecting the email address. Now, over here, if I come over here to form fields, and I'll just click this and I'll show you something. At the minute in time, we've got collect name, collect address and collect phone number. Now. It depends, and it's obviously to do with some setting deep in the bowels of Kajabi. Some users under here may see collect password, and that's what we want. We want to put a password field on here, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Now, if for some reason, like me, you can't see the option to add the password field, what you need to do is come back, additional settings, and then here, select collect new members password. So I'm going to select that. I'll just click save jump back and now what we're doing we're also collecting a password in other words what's going to happen is the user when they complete the purchase they're going to have to insert the password and here's why if we don't get them to do this here what happens is Kajabi then sends them a default password it emails them and people miss it they don't open it etc and you end up getting a ton of emails saying I don't know what my password is Getting them to create their own password at this stage just reduces the hassle. It makes your life so much easier. So we've got email address, create password, confirm password. And you know what? For good measure, I'm also going to add collect name. So I'll select that, hit save. Now we're collecting the email address, the full name, and we're getting them to create a password. And of course, down here is the options to to decide how they want to pay for it, card or PayPal or whatever your payment settings are. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So let's see if this works for real. So imagine that you've promoted your product and the customers come to your sales page and they're here on your sales page viewing it and they want to buy. They click the button to buy the product. They then get the offer page. So I'm going to fill in my details. Create a password. Enter my credit card details. Click complete my purchase. And there we go. They now get the custom thank you page. So if I click on that link, there we go. They can now access the offer. They can now download it. Now you might be wondering why it just let them in this page without asking for any login information and that's because Kajabi remembered that they've just filled the information in and just to prove that if I come up here and I just copy that that URL and I come down and open up a new browser and I try to access it by pasting that in where I'm not logged in on Safari it now asks me to sign in so effectively what I've done I've created a password protected page in Kajabi if you like, a paywall that I can use to sell mini offers or any type of content where I don't want to take up one of my product slots. How good's that? So to recap, let's just run through what's going to happen here. Customer buys your product using your ghost offer. They then get an email that contains a link to the page on your website. But the only way that they can access that page is if they have paid and if they've created an account with a password. So effectively, you've created a password protected page that can only be accessed when they've paid. And it's not taken up 
any of your product slots. I hope this helps. Until next time, bye for now.